watch the video about the uneventful day. How long can you stay? How long can you tolerate this? Hail, rain, inactivity. It's a challenge. How long can you stay? Will you be here at the end of the video? Or will you be going any second now? Sometimes I hate Britain. Ugh. I hate its weather. And more than that, I hate the way we do business. I had a plan for today. And uh, as you may gather, that plan's not happening now because of a lovely company called Argos. That's not entirely, yes, it is their fault. Or I was, I'm not really sure. The fact is, we have had to do an emergency buy on a tumble dryer. And I say emergency because we can't live without one apparently. And the one that we had broke down yesterday. I took it apart to see why it wasn't working. And got all the grubby bits out, you know, the uh, dusty bits. Plugged it back in and it smelt like it was about to go on fire. So I uh, decided against trying to fix it any further. I just got drenched, but now look at the sky over there. The ultimately disappointing thing about this is a dryer needs a big car to collect, doesn't it? Or at least a decent sized hatchback. My hatchback called Nigel is currently on sawn, so I can't use it, but I can still use this Audi that does about 20, 15 miles per gallon when, um, you know, you're not on a run anywhere. So I went and collected this new tumble dryer um, and then popped back to work where I was about to get on and do my other actual plan for the day and then I had a phone call saying it doesn't work. The brand new one doesn't work. So, went home, had a look. Guess what? It doesn't work. There's that, it just doesn't work. You plug it into the electric, you switch it on, nothing's there. It's a very basic, as cheap as you can get dryer. So there's no way that you can be tripped up by actually working, but you're not being able to use it because it's too, technical there's no display there's nothing it's a dial and a button and another button for coals that's all there is to it a plug which I did check the views on and that is oh oh shit I've just realized something over there oh balls anyway this in mind I said well contact Argos and say it doesn't work can you supply us with another one it's not our fault that it doesn't work you're going to test it in the shop, are you? But no, no, you have to take it back to the shop. Which means I've got to take it back to the shop. And that means that my day that I was supposed to be doing something useful today with, now can't happen because of a sudden tumble dryer. Yeah, the sensor might be a bit annoyed. I said I wasn't going to put any more petrol in this car because it's, it's up for sale and it just wants to stay in the yard. Now it's, it's down to a range of 10 miles. I can't trust that to get to Rochdale and back and then back down to the yard. So I'm going to, to put petrol in the fucking car! No, honestly, I'm a bit annoyed. I actually don't want to put any petrol in it. Should you complain that the sun comes out after it's rained? No, you shouldn't. But you sort of can't help it when you've already got yourself drenched. Ten pounds, that's all I'm going to put in. How far will ten pounds get me in this car? I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. Fifty miles according to that. Uh, some may find that a bit difficult to swallow. This doesn't know, it swallows it very easily. Two o'clock, thank you. Thank you to time. Time is the one thing you can rely on to do exactly what you expect it to do. And that is to go away. Who likes time going away? Only 
nutters, as far as I'm concerned. Unless you hate your life, how can you enjoy that? Oh, lovely sheep. Oh, oh. How can you enjoy? Why do people wish their time away? There's one thing being delayed a little bit, but today I am now approximately nearly all day behind. And I still want to feel like I've achieved something. So I struggle with it. Bush! Bush. Bush Electrics. They're the ones that supply the faulty dryer. You'd think they'd check them before they left the factory. But no, sure enough, took it back. The guy in Argos plugged it in and went, no, oh, it works, does it? No, it doesn't work. No. So rather than just exchanging it, kind of insisted that the next one he pulls out, we actually check it does work before we take his away again. And it did. So you could say, all's well that ends well. As long as you don't mind. As long as you're happy to ignore the wasted day in the process. There we go. There's a day in the life of mustard. Now try not to let it get you down. Bye. <laughs>saying good morning because this particular trip out was supposed to be happening this morning but it's not this morning now it is now half past two in the afternoon to the west of Rochdale up the M62 there is a town called Bradford but that might be a city and that's not where I'm going anyway there's also a city called Leeds and I'm not going there but I am going to somewhere called Dewsbury which is kind of near Wakefield and there I hope to bag myself a couple of goodies. Did you know that today, right now, it was supposed to be dry and sunshiny? And not hail, hail, wow. Torrential rain. Better put my headlamps on. I am off to see a young man from Dewsbury whom I've never met before and I'm not sure if he wants his name mentioned so I won't tell you his name but I have put his name in the description so just look there. Last week he messaged me and said um, I'm scrapping this ZR on Thursday do you need anything? I thought well might as well if it's going anyway I'm going to come along and uh, see whether there's anything really useful on there or is it just a nice day out? Well, to the left of me, I can see sunshine. To the right, I can see very, very dark clouds. I could very easily end up in a situation where it's raining. I'm starting to feel I need a cushion for this chair. Not to sit on, of course. No, because the seats don't have lumbar support. Isn't that awful? You know, when you consider the old Rover seats, were wonderfully comfortable and you can sit all day and just be perfectly comfortable and then they thought no we don't want you being comfortable we want you to get out of your cheap car and feel in chronic pain we want you to suffer for your choice of car and so instead pain right up your back every time you've done more than 10 miles maybe like me you're the kind of person that when you go home and there are scatter cushions all over the couch, before you sit down, you fling them all off. Maybe, not like me though, you could be somebody who actually lives alone. You could be somebody who lives alone, but still has scatter cushions everywhere because you think that's what you're supposed to do. That's what looks right. And so you put them all in order, you make your couch look right, and then you think, I need to sit down. You fling them all off into the kitchen and break a cup. I was just thinking then about this song, Rabbit, from Chaz and Dave. Is it called Rabbit? I'm not sure. 
Anyway, I was going to talk about rabbits and how we used to eat rabbits when I got distracted with the thought of how misogynic is that song, eh? How much misogyny is in that song? I mean, this lady is perfect. She's got absolutely everything going, except she likes to talk. I mean, unless she does nothing but talk utter nonsense and you just have to close your ears. But imagine, imagine being in a relationship where rather than just saying, look, you know, I'm not interested in your opinion on these things. I'm going to write a song. I'm, write, I'm going to write a song about this. Or could it be... But of course, the, uh, the other side that you don't see is that maybe this particular lady talked so much that there wasn't even the opportunity to get a word in edgeways. But she was quite a big fan of Chaz and Dave. So naturally, naturally the thing to do would be just to write a song just politely asking her to shut her big fat <laughs> Was there really a time where Sainsbury's sold rabbit though? Chicken didn't really exist. I mean, I'm sure chickens have been around since, well, uh, the dinosaurs. But you couldn't buy them. You didn't eat chicken. Chicken was a special treat. If you want some food, you just eat rabbit. But where are all these rabbits now? Did they breed rabbits or did they just go along dual carriageways at springtime, picking them out and sticking them in the back of a van? They're convenient, aren't they? Maybe the reason for eating rabbits is they've got those handles on the top of their heads. That means you can just pick them up and uh, fling them where you want to go. What about ducks? The Chinese uh, serve duck quite a lot in restaurants takeaways where did they get those ducks from where did they come from did they go to hebden bridge and just um, scoop them all up with a net or do they breed ducks does anybody breed ducks for eating maybe there's something else that Chaz and Dave should have considered about this particular lady that if she's got everything going for her but she just can't stop talking maybe she's nervous or maybe you don't do any talking, but I think it's more likely it's just a really nervous thing because she can't believe she's in the company of Chaz and Dave. And she, she's just on this... I wonder if she does a live stream. She must be full of anecdotes if she can't stop actually talking. She could talk about the time that she knew Chaz and Dave, couldn't she? And that, you know, you'd think they'd be full of personality and wanting to talk, but no, they'd never said a thing. All they did was just stand there with their arms folded. That's not very sociable, is it? Because this particular lady never did an interview, never did a newspaper article, never started live streaming about her experience with Chaz and Dave, would suggest that maybe the song is just a little bit made up and this lady doesn't really even exist at all. I've just got some diesel and this place won't accept Scottish notes. That's terrible. It's still sterling, isn't it? Just because it's got a different picture on the front. I mean, I'm not bothered because I haven't got any Scottish notes, but I do find that ever so slightly unacceptable, personally. Going through the town of Dewsbury, and I did make my mind up that I wouldn't film any of Dewsbury because although it is a lovely place, I'm just not interested in it. Untouchable fireplaces. At least it's sunny now. My return journey fills me with hope and joy. I'm so happy to be on my way back. Fantastic, excellent. However, it does seem that uh, I, I got the wrong end of the stick somewhat when it comes to parts and this car that I've just got off to see. It doesn't want to, it doesn't want to get rid of the parts at all. No, how have I got that wrong? I don't know. And when I say getting it over the wrong end of the stick, he wasn't even chucking a stick, apparently. No, it's just me chasing after my tail, trying to steal another dog's ball. Do you think that cats get jealous? 
So, for example, you have a cat. It's your friendly cat. It likes to come along and sit on your lap and basically purr itself to sleep. But one day, it trots in from the cat lap and sees another cat sat on your lap. Would it get jealous? Would it then go off into your wardrobe and poo in your shoes? Would it learn how to use Facebook and spread a whole load of vicious rumours about you that, to be honest, you deserve? Or would it just go, all right? To console myself, I'm going to pretend to go to Milkston Road for a nice takeaway. So now, at the end of the day, the sun has come out to stay, but all the motivation has gone away. What a shameful, upside down world we live in. Well, at least uh, you can say that about the weather, because this is perfect now. This is perfect for being at work in, and I'm going home. Thank you.